Hello, so this is how you make the handlebar, this handlebar. So to start, um, let's go on the top plane. And the unit I'm working in is inch. So start on the top plane and let's draw a sketch. And let's draw two circles in the, at the not at the origin point, excuse me. So draw two circles somewhere up here. So something like that and now click the center point and the origin point and make it vertical to each other and add the dimension and the first one will be 1.34 and the second one will be the outside circle the diameter will be 1.42 and we want to add a dimension from here to the origin point which is going to be 1.5 so you should have something like this 1.5 1.34 and 1.42 and click the circle on the inside and make that circle a construction line and click OK and exit out of your sketch so now we are going to do the extrude so the first one you're going to be extruding it up and that will be 1.5 and the, you click on direction 2 and you are going to be extruding that down which is this one down 0.1 and click OK so you should have that and now we want to click on the front plane so the front plane is somewhere over there and while you're on that front plane now we want to go to sketch tab drop down and click the 3d sketch so now that sketch is going to be uh, coincident with that plane so let's just start drawing our sketch so let's draw a line um, and mind you this is a 3d line so let's draw something like um, let me move it somewhere up here just draw something like this a shape going at an angle coming at another angle and coming at another angle something like that so you should have like three line and each line coming at an angle so let's draw another line somewhere down here somewhere down here where the origin point is something like that and make that line a construction line so now all we will need to do is add a dimension to from this line to that point that will be 0.835 and and let's add a, another line over here and that's also a construction line so this is 0.835 and the weight of that handlebar we go into let's do the line to that point so you dimension the line to the point and that will be 11.62 so you have something like that and let's just drag this line something like that and let's drag this too and the I will add the angle from this outside line and that will be 2 and let's add a dimension to it and that will be 7.09 and we're just going to keep working our way from the outside in we add another dimension to this line which is an angle it will be 52 and let's pull that down and from this point down to the line is 5 and we only have this now and from this this line let's just dimension it and that will be 2.5 and let's also add a dimension to it and this will be 6 so as you can see our sketch is this sketch we have now is fully defined 
So look at it and make sure you have these dimensions too. And once you have that, now we want to draw another line and click on this point. Or oh, before we do that, let's go into this sketch and make this sketch visible so you can see it. So now let's draw our line, click on this point. And when you move this way and you press the tab key, you will see that the plane changes. But it doesn't really matter anyway because we have a reference point. So you want to collect, connect this line to this origin point of that sketch. So you should have something like that. So if you look at it, that line is connecting to that origin point. And I'm just going to go to the front plane. So you should have something like this and good so now let's click on this line and before we do that let's just go to the top plane or let me show you so we need one more line we'll draw another line click on this point but before you draw it just kind of move your sketch that way and click the tab key and the more you move it you will see that the plane reference is going to change so now as you can see my plane reference has changed to the ZX plane which is what I want. So I'm just going to go to the top plane, draw a line over here. Make sure this two point uh, match those two point and match this two point as well. And make this line a construction line. And now add a dimension to this and that will be four and you have something like that. So that is the up sweep. So the back sweep. So on the front plane, that is what it looks like, but it's sweeping back. So now we have all the sketch. So what we need to do now is make this a construction line and make this a construction line. And we have all the construction line we want. So now we are ready to start moving on. Oh, let me go back to the front plane. And let's add a fillet to this, I, this now. So we add a fillet here. The fillet here will be two. Click OK. We add another fillet here. And that will be, um, that fillet will be 1.75. Click OK. And we need one more fillet. And down here. And that fillet will be 3.5. 3.5. And click OK. So everything looks good. We need one more sketch. So draw an arc from that point that's kind of coincident with this arc and something like that. Now click this point, the center point of the arc and that line and make them coincident with each other. And the radius of this arc is 6.75. And we just need to draw a dimension from the origin point to this arc and that will be 4.8. So you should have something like that and make that arc also a construction line. We just, this are going reference sketch that we are going to be using later. So I know this kind of took a lot, but I just wanted to show you the step by step on how to make it. So now let's exit out of that sketch. So the only solid line we have in that sketch is this shape. And now we are going to go into the feature sweep and we want to click the circular and that sketch is selected and we want to um, since i'm working in inches but i know the handlebar is typically the diameter is typically 22.2 .2. so let's just type 22.2 .2. but since we are working in inches make sure you type mm after it so that way solidworks is going to convert it to inches for you so type 22.2 mm and click OK. And we have that and we are going to click OK. 
and let's now go into this um, sketch show that sketch and on the front plane we want to draw another sketch click this sketch convert entity and we can hide this sketch now so only that sketch is revealed and now we want to go back sweep feature that sketch we want to select circular 22.2 mm and click OK so we have that so now what we want to do is mirror this over so we'll mirror it by the right plane select mirror features to mirror this and that um, or you can or you can select by the right plane but you can select the feature or you can come down here and select these two features it's still the same thing and click OK so we have our mirror mirror you have we have our feature mirrored over the next thing we can do now is add a fillet um, on this top part um, or you can let me just exit out of that and I'll show you um, fillet just click this bar and it adds the fillets to that top part and that fillet is going to be 0.15 and click OK and we want to add another fillet and this time this fillet is going to be 0 0.05 and the fillet is going to be on this bottom part so you should have something like that and click OK and the next thing we want to do is go on the right plane so you should have something like that and we want to draw a sketch so on the right plane select sketch so now let's draw two circles over here something like that and draw another one here something like this so now make this inside circle and this inside circle equal to each other and make this outside circle and this outside circle equal to each other and click the center point of those circle make them vertical to each other and let's add a dimension from here to here is going to be 0.3 and from this bottom circle to is also going to be 0.3 so we have something like that and the dimension from this center point to the origin point is going to be 2.4 and we want to add a dimension to this circle the outside circle is 0.55 and the inside circle is 0.35 so you have something like that and your sketch should be fully defined and now we're going to extrude and um, by the mid plane and it's going to be 0.65 so you should have something like that and we are going to select OK so the next thing we are going to do is add a fillet so we are going to click a fillet add a fillet to this and it's going to be 0 0.05 um, that edge now let's we want to add a fillet to delete that a fillet to pretty much all the four corners and we are going to select that edge and this edge and this edge and if your sketch is if everything looks like is jagged like the way mine is what you can do is um, let me try to add this fillet and see if that will work add a fillet to that face that edge this edge and this edge and it should be 0 0.05 and click OK so like I said if your your feature looks jagged so what you can do is come in here and under the image quality under the document properties tab 
image quality you can move this up and but notice that if you move it up it's going to slow down your system so that's but that's how you can increase the the image quality now you can see everything looks a little bit smooth so now we are almost done with this and ignore this for now we are going to work with it later so the next thing we want to do is click this top face and sketch and normal to and while you are normal to this click this sketch and convert entity and now all you want to do is go down and extrude cut on true or and click OK so we have that so the next thing we can hide that sketch now let's just hide it so the next thing we want to do is click on the top plane and draw a sketch on normal to and just come here and draw a rectangle something like this but what I'm using is the center it's the center arc rectangle make sure the origin point and this the center point of that rectangle and the origin point is vertical to each other and now so now let's add a dimension from here to the origin point it will be 1.5 and the uh, this is going to be 1.1 1. 1. and the length of that let's just add any number to it let's make it 3 so our sketch is fully defined again we are going to select extrude cut and this time we're going to do up to next so you have something like that and direction 2 and we're also going to select up to next and click OK and the last thing we are going to do is add a fillet to this so now let's just click our fillet uh, it's going to be 0 0.015 you want to add a fillet to that face that face this face and this face we also want to add it to this top edge and the inside edge and we want to do the same thing on the bottom the outside and the inside so you have something like that and click OK and that is it that is how you make this Swiss handlebar and what we can do now is add a material to it and metal and I'm just going to um, select chrome I'm going to add it to this click OK maybe I can turn on my where is it at my real graphics and there you go and that's how you make that part anyway thank you and I will see you in the next tutorial